ESPN's uh, Rob Parker was doing some commentary on Washington Redskins quarterback Robert Griffin III. Um, and he was questioning whether or not uh, this quarterback is black enough, basically. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Rob Parker said, but my question, which is just a straight, honest question is, is he a brother or is he a cornball brother? And then everyone asked him, what does that mean? And he said, he's not real, okay? He's black, he kind of does the thing, but he's not really down with the cause. He's not one of us. He's kind of black, but he's not really like the guy you want to hang out with because he's off to something else. So then Champion asks him, okay, so what's your question? And his response was, well, because that's just how I want to find out about him. I don't know because I keep hearing these things. We all know he has a white fiance, there was all this talk about how he's a Republican, which I don't really care. There's no information at all. I'm just trying to dig deeper into why he has an issue because we did find out with Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods was like, I've got black skin, but don't call me black. I, I'm totally confused. First of all, what's a cornball brother? Right. Well, that's one thing. I, I, I went out, I did a little, tried to get a little research on that. I was unsuccessful. Mm -hmm. finding out what a cornball brother I can't tell is. if he's the one that's the bad guy or the one that's the good guy. A cornball brother would be, an, I think, an inauthentic brother. Oh, I so, see. Think, uh, think, we might want to ask you. Yeah. Think Carlton from uh, Fresh Prince. Right, Carlton from Fresh Prince. By the way, that's the guy who's not black enough. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> he might need glasses. This, so, this guy, so, so, so this guy, Anna, he was the second player taken in the NFL draft, and mm -hmm. he has electrified the league. He's mm -hmm. very, very good. He's totally rejuvenated the, the Redskins franchise. But here's the problem. Uh, his girlfriend is white, and he might be a Republican. Therefore, he is not black enough. So that's what I heard. So this is, th th there's no, we have no credibility to the Republican story. That was like a knife through my heart. <laughs> I was like, you a Republican? Yeah. But he's got a white fiance, apparently. Yeah. And so that, because Rob Parker III also mentioned in his, that was on ESPN's first take, Skip Bayless, Stephen A. Smith there. That was part of what he said, was that, you know, because he's got, he, first of all, he praised the, the braids. Because uh -huh. he's like, that's, that's, that makes him a brother. Right, uh -huh. but the white fiance and the Republican maybe he's not down with the cause. Okay, I down with what cause? What cause? <laughs> okay, what cause. so first of all, a, a black athlete with a white girlfriend—that's probably a first. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you've eliminated what half the NFL with that comment? It's ridiculous, right? right. Now it's a fiance. So what? Why are we in his personal life? Mm -hmm. And he's a Republican. Yeah, like Ben says, obviously we're not in favor of that because we're not Republicans and. But probably the kid doesn't know that much. I mean, come on, you're going to, I mean, what, like mm -hmm. any uh, kid let's go his with age. The, let's go with that he's not a Republican. Okay, all right. Even if he was, <laughs> right, I mean, even how old is he? What is he, 22? 21 or 22. 20, yeah. What is, what are, I was a Republican at 22. Nice. Okay. So, so anyway, I'm saying leave him alone. It doesn't mean he's not black. That's crazy talk. Yeah, uh, Steve, Stephen A. Smith was on the show, and, and the great irony is that, that Stephen A. Smith, who's a, uh, another commentator for ESPN, mm -hmm. who's got a very strong, I guess, Philly accent. Uh, maybe it's New York. I don't know, is, that where Steve, is that where Stephen A. Smith from New York or Philly? I always thought he was from Philly, but maybe he just wrote for the Enquirer. But he's, uh, and, he's, um, and I like him a lot, but he is seldom referred to as the voice of reason. Like he comes, <laughs> <laughs> he's a fairly over-the-top guy, but he comes out, he's black too, Stephen A. Smith, and he comes out, he says, I'm uncomfortable with where we just went. Robert Griffin III, ethnicity or color of his fiance, none of our business, it's irrelevant, live his life in whatever way he chooses. The braids he has in his hair, his business, his life, he can live his life. So Yeah, he's God, absolutely he, right. I, I hate that. I hate when you look at the ethnicity or the race of, uh, you know, the boyfriend or girlfriend and you judge that person based on that. Who cares? Who cares? You're living in America you where, that, where right? you have all of these great opportunities to date all of these different people. Why do you have to stick to your race? And, and I understand. Uh, you know what, uh, Anna, that's a great point. I'm sorry, I gotta jump in. You should do all the races. <laughs> God bless America, okay? Take advantage of that opportunity. Date someone from every single race, okay?